Hi friends, I am Navin Panchal. Welcome to NK Panchal YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about the various defects related to the human eye. You know, friends, eye is the only part of our body by which we can see the colorful world. But there are various defects which are also associated with the human eye. In this video, we will discuss about the defects. The main defects associated with the human eye are myopia, hypermetropia, astigmatism, press biopia. Let's discuss the various defects one by one. First of all, myopia. Myopia. In myopia, a person is unable to see the distance objects, but he can clearly see the nearby objects. But he has problem and he is unable to see the distance object or far objects clearly. Myopia is also called nearsightedness. In myopia, image is found before the retina. In a normal human eye, image is always found in the retina. Retina is also known as the screen of human eye. But if any eye has any kind of defect, then the image will not will be not focused on the retina. Friends, you can see in a, you can see the diagram of a human eye, in which it is shown that the light is coming from the objects. The lens of the human eye converts them before the retina, but not on retina. In myopia, the eyeball size became bigger. A myopic eye can be corrected by using concave lens, because concave lens is also known as diverging lens. That's why it will initially diverge the light rays coming from the objects, and then after that, the converging lens of human eye will converge them on the retina. That's why a person can easily see the far objects. Let's discuss about the hypermetropia. Friends, in hypermetropia, a person is unable to see the nearby objects, but he can, he can clearly see the far objects or distance objects. Hypermetropia is also called far sightedness. In hypermetropia, the image is formed behind the retina because the converging power of the human eye lens become weak. In the picture, you can easily see the hypermetropic eye. In a hypermetropic eye, the image is formed behind the retina. It is shown in the picture that the light is coming from the objects and the human eye lens converts them behind the retina, not on retina. That's why a person is unable to see the nearby objects. In hypermetropy, the eyeball became short, means the size of eyeball became smaller. The correction of hypermetropia can be done by using convex lens because convex lens is a converging lens. It will converge the light rays coming from the objects and after that those converged light rays again converged by the lens of human eye and the final image will be formed on the retina. Next kind of defect is astigmatism. Friends, in astigmatism the curvature of cornea became irregular. That's why a person is unable to difference between the horizontal and vertical lines. If a person is suffering from astigmatism, then the eye lens of that people is unable to focus the all light rays coming from objects at a single point. It means some, ray, some rays are focused before the retina, some are behind the retina and few are on retina. That's why a person is able to see the nearby or far objects clearly. This kind of defects can be cured by can be corrected by using cylindrical lens. You can see the cylindrical lens in the diagram. And another defect associated with the human eye is press biopia. In press biopia, a person cannot see the nearby and distance object clearly due to the old age. As you know, due to the old age, the um, ciliary muscles of the human eye become weak and it is unable to hold the eye lens properly by the ciliary muscles. Due to this, the accommodation power of the eye lens became less. Or you can say that the accommodation power of the eye lens decreases. Accommodation means the property, the property of the eye lens to adjust its focal length. In rest biopia, accommodation power become less. Rest biopia can be removed by using bifocal lens. A bifocal lens is a type of lens in which both concave and convex lens are used. In general, a bifocal lens contains concave lens at upper part and convex lens at lower part. 
that's all friend this is these were the defects related to the human eye i hope you have understand all the type of defects and you have now the basic idea of various type of defects associated with the human eye i hope you have like the videos if you like please comment share subscribe and friends if you have any kind of doubt about the video or about any other topics related to the video you can you are free to write in the comment section thanks i am navin panchal thanks a lot to watch the video